In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can use geometry in our composition in Ableton Live. There's some really cool tips and tricks and concepts that you can build by looking at different mathematical series, golden ratio, golden mean, things like that, and using it in your production. It opens up a whole world of fun with our composition. So let's first start off by looking at the golden ratio. The golden ratio is a special number approximately equal to 1.618. We see this all the time in geometry, art, architecture, nature, the human hand, how our division of our hands, of our bones are, in leaves, you name it. This has been used a lot by da Vinci, different architectures throughout the ages to represent a natural form that we see a lot. The idea of it is if we have some number, like let's look at square. If we have a square where we have A equals, let's say, 12, and both sides, both sides of the square are equal, so they're 12, to fit within this golden ratio, we would want to figure out what B is. And for B, we just take A and divide it by 1.618, and that will give us B. And then together, those equal A plus B equals the golden rectangle in this case. Or we can use this same mathematic for spirals, for circles, for triangles. We see it all the time in different shapes, such as the pentagram and other geometries. We see this same ratio repeated over and over. Now let's look at how we can use this within our music. A lot of times, if you actually get into this, you'll notice that a lot of things naturally are pretty close to the golden ratio. So for instance, I just threw in this track of mine, Broken Mind, by a new project called Silk Drop. And in this, when I listened to it, and I calculated basically by the size, the length of this, that I just stopped it at where here is around 330. And then using a calculator, I figured out what A and B is of the golden ratio. So for that, I just used this website called omnicalculator.com. It's under the golden rectangle. And what you can do is if I put in, well, 330, I have to have three, 3 times 60 plus 30 we got 210, so I put in here A plus B, because the total length of this song is 210 seconds. So my A part is around 130, and my B is around 80. Go back to live, and all I did was look at where that point was, which was 130. So to calculate that, what I have to do is... 60 plus 60 is 120 and then 10 seconds. So we have two minutes, 10 seconds around there. So it's a little less than that, but it's right around two minutes, 10 seconds that I actually started up this whole new section of my track. It's where the chorus repeats. It's kind of the most epic part of the track. Now, granted, this isn't exact. I don't use the exact numbers here, but I use it as an estimate because it's around this point that I'll find a really good moment to either switch up the song with a big breakdown or something like that. Now, I took that same concept of the golden ratio and then I went from whatever A was, it's kind of like a spiral. I've just taken that, I've just taken whatever the size of A is and chopped that up into the golden ratio and so on. Again, these are estimates because I'm using grids within Ableton Live, within music. It's a little bit different. If this were to be exact, like for instance, this B would probably be something like that. That's not that helpful for me. But having this very close approximation to the golden ratio, I can start beginning to get interesting things in my composition. For instance, we obviously get a change here from the verse into the final chorus and that fits the ratio, right? But we can have shapes within shapes to also give us ideas, where if I look at this A and B, I'm just gonna duplicate this across. You'll see how this repeated four times and it matches up to that part. And I also had other instances where 
having this B was very interesting because I could do some type of breakdown there or something like that. Now, I'm going to make this live set for free by donation download so you can use these ratios in your music. Whenever you change the BPM, the ratios stay the same because they're MIDI. They're just kind of like a sketch of when to implement something in your composition. And that makes it very useful in writing. You can just go ahead and drag these into anything you're working with. Now in this live set, there's other geometries I find really interesting as well, which is the Fibonacci sequence and the Lucas series, which we see in nature and different mathematics all the time. You should look that one up as well if you're interested in how the Fibonacci sequence works and why it's really cool in music and in mathematics. But the basics of it is, it's a series where one and one is two, so the last two are added together to make the next number in the series. So one and two is three, two and three is five, three and five is eight, and so on. And we see this spiral as well all the time. This would be a really good thing to use in your music if you're having like a song that's building exponentially forward. This would be a really interesting way of looking at your composition. I also use this in binaural beats. If I'm doing something more around meditation, sound therapy, things like that, I like using this. And we also have the Lucas series, which is a little different. You'll see this is one to three to four to seven, 11, 18, and so on. So again, you just have those right there, as well as these different versions of the golden ratio. Now let me show you real quick how you might use this in your production. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is download and install this live pack called Geometry and Composition. So what you want to do is you want to go navigate wherever that is, you can double click to install it. It's going to ask you where do you want to install it. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. Once we've installed that, let's open up an empty live set. Now here I can navigate in my browser to wherever I've installed it. So I'm going to just add my desktop, press OK, and it's going to scan my desktop. And here we go, we see this composition project. What's cool about the way I set this up is you can now just drag in these aids in your composition, like the Fibonacci. Drag it in and there you have that sequence right there for when you're writing. So there you go. That is using the golden ratio in your composition and arrangement. It's just some cool new techniques that are going to hopefully give you some new ideas in your composition. I love to hear how you can use the golden ratio, how you've seen it in your music, how you've seen it in other people's music. So, so comment below and I'll check it out and download the for free by donation pack on my site. Just follow the link and you'll be able to grab this for your own production.